Hello, welcome back. Um, I, uh, I'm a little bit more organised today, I hope. And after my being absolutely mortified when my camera slipped um, um, last week and you saw my messy desk, I actually spent all day yesterday sort of doing a little bit of a tidy up. So um, my desk is quite tidy and I think I've got everything that I need. So um, what I've made is a lovely little uh, gift box and inside is four little note cards. Um, two like that and two like that and uh, I'm gonna show you how I made the cards and um, and then I'll do another video I'm gonna show you how I made the box and the envelopes I'm gonna change the colors this was um, peekaboo peach and calypso coral I'm gonna use um, island indigo and mint macaron which is going so thought I'd thought I'd make it use it um, I'm using the uh, you're so sweet stamp set I'm going to use the um, heart and star and the um, corresponding dies to cut them out which is from one of my absolute favorite um, die sets which is the mini treat bag thinlets which it's amazing value because you get um, you get the the thinlet to, to cut out the treat bag, which I use all the time for all sorts of things. I use them at Christmas for the uh, table favours, um, and I use them for gift bags and envelopes for cards. And then you've got all these other um, lovely little um, dies as well that you can use. So I think it's a brilliant value. Okay, so to make the four cards, um, what I did was I took a piece of A4 uh, and cut into quarters. So each card blank is a quarter of A4. So they are, in fact, five and seven eighths by four and one eighth, and then scored in half, score it at two and 15 sixteenths. So it's really easy on your... Um, stamping up trimmer to do that and that gives you a perfect little um, card uh, blank so I've done two of those in Island Indigo and two in Mac Macaron and then for the mat um, the mat is three and seven eighths by two and eleven eighths and then so I've cut uh, f six of those in very vanilla two for the card fronts and four for inside and then I cut two in Island Indigo and then I've cut two um, that's a, a double mat so that is three and five eighths by two and seven sixteenths this is uh, all going to be on my blog so don't worry about um, uh, writing them down unless you want to and then just a little just a little smidge that's the technical term for that one and then to go behind the star I've cut um, two squares of two and one eighths by two and one eighths just need to be slightly bigger than the than um than two inches just to get in the star so for the heart card i've got my mitt macaron and the island indigo my double mat of pattern, a little border, and then I just need a little scrap. I knew I wasn't fully. <laughs> Never would happen, would it? Never would happen. I'd forgotten about the little scrap I need of um, very vanilla for stamping the heart on. So I've got my heart mounted here, and I need my Island Indigo um, ink. Um, still haven't bought the big, the big one, so this I'll have to do. And this gets cut out completely, so just stamp that nicely. I just love this colour. I'm going to do it twice.
tape next to it actually because I might not have left enough room. So there's those two done and then I'm going to for the mint macaron card I'm gonna stamp on the card and then this gets cut out. So I've got my star and it cuts the middle of the star out to peeky boo. Um, so I've got my star mounted. Let me just go back over the, the hello. And then what you've got to remember is the low needs to be top left. No, that's right. That's left, isn't it? Yeah. Pandora's left. Yeah. I get confused. It's a dyslexic trait. And then eyeball it. Lovely. Slightly that way. But who cares? It's homemade card. If you want perfection, go elsewhere. Go to a shop. But that would be boring. There we go, lining that up on my grid paper. Ink it up again. And done. I think it's so much quicker when you're mass producing. Not that four is mass producing, but you know what I mean. There we go. Right, so I am just going to cut those out um, using my little mini die cutter um, rather than the big shot it's just a little bit easier on my joints so kind of line that up so that you're just covering the star outline hold it in place Symbol she tape. And then just run it through. Oh, paper's moving. There we go. I go backwards and forwards just because that's what I do. I don't think you necessarily have to. I think it would probably cut out without. And I've managed to squish the side of that. Because I'm stood up and I'm on camera, but there we go. I'll save that star for another project, and then I'll just do the heart, um, which I will just cut down slightly before I put it through. And this is going to cut it out completely. Don't actually pick it up. So that. So when you're lining this one up, you need to make sure that the heart's completely on the inside of your die shape. And then stick it down when you're happy. Steady. Happy. Well, uh, you know. There you go. And then just run this through. I'll just do one of each. On camera, you don't need to see me repeat it, do you? And then that should cut out. Out the way. I'll finish off the project before I show you how to do the box. Right now, I have squished that a little bit. I'm just gonna get my bone folder, squish it down. Yeah. No one would know. Now you can. Um, sponge the edge oh. 
see, I was sort of ready. I knew it would be famous last words. Right, so we can sponge the end. Shall we get my little island in there you go? And then you really won't necessarily notice that. You don't have to. I think I've done it on one and not the other. But as this was a bit squished, I think that just covers it up a bit, doesn't it? Nicely. Who would know? Who would know? Well, apart from cut hundred people that have watched this. Nobody, really. There we go. That's marvellous. Right. Then, just to put it together. So, that one's going to go on there. And then, this one's going to have that behind it. And stuck down on there. So I'm going to use a bit of snail, I think, today. Just for quickness. I usually like to use my tombo, but I just want to. What am I doing wrong? Doing it upside down. If brain was engaged. Would be easier. So it's got a little border all the way around to make it easy to line up. Now I might sponge the edge of this. I forgot to tell you where the paper's from, didn't I? The papers, um, carousels and doodle. Uh, no, that's, that's really, here it goes. Uh, uh, cupcakes and carousels, that's it. Still available. It is reduced on the retiring list. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this. And I bought this because I watched um, and. And oh, I'll link her. Um, one of another pootler. Um, she did a um, scrapbook um, using that set, and I just thought it was lovely, so I bought that um, simply from watching that because I just thought the papers were lovely. Um, and I've got four more paper than I need to make it, so I thought oh, such lovely paper and lovely colours. I'll um do a few other projects with it and whilst it's still available on the retiring list reduced you may as well get out there and get it bought I'm going to buy some more stick that down that's nicely in there and then because I felt, oh, I probably need a little bit of a ribbon and I don't have any in this colour, I just do my fake ribbon. So this is cut the same width as the mat. So it goes across quite nicely. And then I'm going to stick that up on a bit of dimensional. Which, of course, that's another thing I didn't get ready. There we go. You didn't notice, did you? I think I'm going to put three on. Yes. One, two, three. Like so. Stick that somewhere in the middle. Lovely. I do like the way those colours go. Um, and then stick this on the back. Let's put a bit of in the middle section of each of the stars. Just stick that down. Covering 
each point with a star. When I did it originally, um, I cut my square two inches by two inches. I'm a bit stingy when it comes to my cardstock. Um, but um, that was, uh, you had to be really careful then to make sure that you weren't showing anything. So I just thought, save myself the asshole. Let's do it with a good margin. And then that sticks there. I think these make quite cute little note cards for sending people. And then I cut two mats for the inside. And what I did was I did decorate them um, by just stamping yellow. When I did it on the other, I had the stamping right markers. So um, I didn't um, I didn't run the risk of um, I'm just going to get a baby wipe. I didn't run the risk of um, any other ink being on it, but I don't have Island Indigo marker, so I'm just wiping it off. So that it don't go on. Just going to ink that hello bit again. I think. <sighs> no, well, I'll just have. <sighs> um, so I'm going to put the hello there at the bottom. And I've got a bit of the bit of the star, but I think that's quite all right. And then I'm going to do the same with the heart. So I'm going to. Wipe it all off. I should have done, but I had already stamped it before. And then I'm just with this one, you can have a little bit more of a line. So ink it up, and you get just a little bit of a line. So I'll we'll put that along there down on the one side that one's done it perfect there we go so just say a little bit of love on the inside and then you can ink, ink these edges I always think that looks nice when it's on the inside adds a little bit of extra extra just thought Makes it look a little bit special than if it was just a plain bit. And I stick that in there for your little note. And then I do the same on this one. I'm actually not. I'm actually going to do that again because I don't actually want a funny bit of yellow, a funny bit of the star on it and that's the nice thing about cardstock having two sides because you can do that so I'm just going to stick my hello down there there that's a bit better and then I'll just ink around the edges of that. I always like to do a little bit of stamping on the inside of my card. There we go. So. That's my two cards. Done. And that's in Peekaboo Peach and um, Calypso Coral. So you can see the different colours. So I'll uh, leave it at that today and um, I shall finish them off 
and um, show you how I did a little box next time. Okay, so there's my blog. Um, so if you want to get these beautiful papers whilst they're still on reduced on the retiring list is six pounds something I think um, which is a bargain and and of course remember shop with me in May um, spend 45 pounds and um, I will send you an extra little freebie from my freebie giveaway okay thank you bye